Hello guys, this is Lina Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. The question of today's video. How to tell the good receiver from the average one? Well, switch it on and listen to it, surely. But I would add, listen to it during big international contest, like Worked All Europe DX contest. Like I did with my new Ayesu FT710. Ayesu's first full SDR transceiver. Join me in if you want to listen together. First off, I started on the 40 meter band, which is most complicated and noisy band and the challenge for any receiver. Absolutely no overloading from the stations nearby. To improve the dynamic range, I use the intercept point optimization feature, which simply allows to bypass the amplifier 1 and amplifier 2 in the very front end of the receiver. One stroke station. And the other stroke station. Just Nearby. Kilo one London Zulu sits here. And just very strong German station. No interference created to American station. This is the end of the band and the commercial strong broadcast stations are some 10 kilohertz away and they create no interference for the ham radio stations. And the filter is 2.9 kilohertz, not even 2.4 like for the contest normally. We do the single sideband filter at 2.9. Pretty wide filter. Papa Papa 4 Tango. Pretty weak. But the strong signals around it make no difference whatsoever. Excellent dynamic range. And this is pretty weird example of crowdy bands. Here is a signal of Tango Alpha 3 Nancy Echo, a pretty weak station from Turkey. And here's some other extremely strong station. A monster signal from Finland does not eliminate though reception of a weak Tango Alpha 3. So this was the 40 meter band late in the night and in the morning I switched to 20 meter band and met there the same Turkish station. Tango Alpha 3 November Echo. And there's a huge to the right, you can see a huge German station. So here's the big station. The Corsair is at the station Tango Alpha 3 November Echo. I can comfortably read the signal and the report and despite this very very strong, you know, this white blob a little bit to the right of the Corsair is the strong 59 plus 20 signal from German station but uh, so still the weak Tango Alpha 3 station could be easily copied. Alright guys, so it's a short video and a short 
the receiver test of IESO FT710, but I'm amazed by the quality of the receiver of IESO FT710. Especially ability to withstand all these noises like this, and especially to withstand strong signals nearby when few stations working, you know, uh, nearby each other and making interferences to each other or should make interferences, but they, they didn't. They didn't on this receiver in most cases. So um, I think next thing I'm gonna do is to throw this transceiver into a real contest and, you know, try to take part myself and see how would it behave in the, in the, you know, in the real battle when it needs to transmit and receive and, you know, and, and, and how, how would I feel the fatigue of listening, you know, of, of, of the audio, all these things going to be in my future videos. So for now, that's it. Uh, please leave your opinions and your comments in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and take part together in more experiments like that. So, and uh, for now, that's a really good value for money. And I think this is a keeper for me for a long time. I like IESO FT710. First, IESO's full SDR transceiver. And I think it's going to be better in the future with new firmware upgrades. So... A lot of things to think about and a lot of things, you know, to make with this radio. So far, so good. Stay healthy. Peace and victory for Ukraine. See you in my next video. 73. This is Linas Limoyanke 2. Hotel. Cheerio.